Hey what's up everybody, it's your boy Sires and today I'm going to show you how to play Wild Rift on your computer. Alright, so the first step you will need to take to be able to play Wild Rift on your computer you're going to need to download a program that is able to emulate phone games so that you can use the Play Store. The program that I personally like to use is Bluestacks. I would not suggest that you install Bluestacks Beta. That's Bluestacks 5. And that's because it still doesn't have all the features. And you may want to do certain things in Wild Rift, which I'll get into later, that it doesn't support. So just download Bluestacks 4. And you know, you just run the program, you install it like any normal program. But because I already have it, um, it says the latest blue version of Bluestack is already installed on a PC. So, when you install Bluestacks, if you have your antivirus on, I'd suggest that you take it off. Sometimes it messes up with the installation. Also, if you are getting any further problems, you can leave a comment in the comment description. And there's also a whole forum that they deal with frequently asked questions. They are a really good site that I have learned to like using. Okay, so on to the next step. When you get Bluestacks and it's finished downloading, you click on My Games. After you click on My Games, you go to Play Store. Well, I already have it installed till so there. And you just type in the game that you want to play. And you click on Install. Now, normally there'll be an Install button here. You just click Install and you let it install. So, now I'm actually going to show you how the game looks like on Bluestacks. So, we're going to go back to Wild Rift. You can click Open. Okay, let's see if we can get into a practice tool so that I can show you how the game works. And trust me, it actually works tremendously good on the computer because it's already built in for you. Now, you may have your reasons on why you want to play Wild Rift on the computer. For example, one of the reasons is the games are much shorter, it's more fun. You don't have to wait 40 minutes for a game to finish. So, whatever your reason is, that's fine. I'm just showing you how to do it. Okay, so we are in the practice tool. We're going to level up a bit so you could see some of the skills. Um, yeah. And as you see in the corner here, there's different versions. Now, the best one that I like to use is Smart Mobile. So, just like if you're playing League on the computer, you can play League here. Just right-click like normal. Or you can hold down the right-click button. They are shortcuts that you can use to learn your skills, or you can just click it if you want to click it. And yeah, it's very simple. You aim with your Q, W, your E button, so you can either cast this on yourself or cast this on somebody else. The only thing that's different is that you don't right-click to attack. You actually have to hit the spacebar button. So you don't have to change any settings. However, you can if you want to. You can if you want to, and you can actually lock on to opponents by using space block. Sorry, caps lock. <laughs> what is space lock, my guy? What are we here for? And yeah, so it's very easy. It's very easy to play. It's, it's very fun. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, I don't really want to play it on a keyboard and mouse. Can I play with the controller? And you most definitely can. As you can see, I have my controller here. I'm, I, I can't bring it up too high because my USB cable is kind of short. But as you should see, when I move, it works. It most definitely does work. Once you have a controller with native support, you can use it very easily. It's plug and play. And you can even edit the controls. I'll show you how to edit the controls for keyboard and controller just now. Let me just show you that I can actually cast an ability. And guys, there are certain abilities that have, like, it's almost like aim assist. And I'll show you. I'm playing kind of back to front, so it'll be kind of weird. Because I just want to make sure that you're seeing that I'm doing all this on the controller. So you see, it locks onto her. And I could actually hit her very easily. And... I think my X is to auto attack. Sorry, my button button is to auto attack. 
So it's very simple. It's very intuitive. They made a, a great game and it's, it's very easy to play. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is how to actually edit your skills. So you will have this bar over here and you'll see the keyboard, which is the game controls. So this will actually show you which you want to show on screen for your bindings. So if you want to show the key bindings for your controller, you can switch it so that you'll see X, left trigger, left button, right trigger, did those different things, or you can keep it on the keyboard. Now, we want to edit our abilities. So we're going to go into these. Now, this is the different versions that you can use, and there's actually different ones for different champions. I would honestly suggest that you use Smart Mobile, but you can play around with them if you want to. So if you want to change something on the keyboard, let's say, for example, I want this to be F and I want this to be D. So instead of flashing with D, I mean, even though you could change those things in, in game, I'll just show you an example of that those buttons actually can change. So let's go to summon a spell. So we're going to change this summon a spell here. First, we have to click on the edit button and we're going to go to summon a spell. We're going to go to F. And we're going to change that to something like G. Let's put it on G. Save. And now that we have hit save, you'll see G instead of F. And now I can flash with G. Okay, so let's do the same thing for the controller. But first, I'd like to show you to change your overlay so it won't show the keyboard buttons anymore. Make sure to switch it over to the controller so you don't get confused. And let's say for example you want to change your auto attack so in change of your auto attack being that um let's just do something weird for now let's 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 go and now you should see right stick right so you actually see that this whole word change so guys one last thing if you want to play the game in full screen, just press F11 and it's that simple. Also, there's a different mode where you can actually put in streamer mode so you don't have those overlay and you'll be able to record your videos um, a little bit more cleaner and a window will pop out, pops out in the back, let me minimize this and a window will pop out. So when you put it in full screen, ba-boom and that's basically it. So guys, I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. I'll, I'll try to answer them as best as possible. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. Also, just one quick thing. If you realize I'm using an 8-bit duo, you can also use your pro controller. I'll actually leave a link to the description if you have like a switch controller or a different controller that's not native so that you can be able to use it with Bluestacks. I'll leave a link in the description. It's very easy to download and it's easy to hook up but if you need some explanation i can make a video on that if you would like me to and don't forget if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure and hit that subscribe button if you like the video hey smash that like button if you didn't like the video like the video and of course it was your boy Cyrus. and rocky until next time peace out